Well, hello there, Aquarius. How are you? It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today, we are doing your mid-July reading. This is good for it. Now, until uh, mid-August, we'll take a look at the overall energy with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the Tarot for more details about any obstacles on your path, areas of resistance, and, of course, advice from Spirit. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all your support. It does help to get my message out to more people. All right, let's see what we have on the horizon for you. Vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. And it's the number 63, which when we reduce that, it's the number nine. And nines are about being at the end of something and usually something long, <laughs> something that has been a little bit um difficult you know just kind of a, a long trail of something so let's see what we have here watching clouds lie back rest and relax yeah i feel like something's coming to an end i don't think that there's really anything that you can do at this time there's like no action to take it's a kind of a little bit of an energy you could be at the point where something's coming to an end so it could be a relationship a job a career a situation you already know this you see the end is near right but it's about taking a little bit of time to reflect on this situation um, to garner the the lessons the insight the wisdom that you have gained um, taking a look at the silver linings even though it's been a long long ago it's understanding okay nothing's wasted here I, this is what i've learned on this journey you know this is what i've learned with this relationship or this career this job you know well what would i um what would i like to take away what knowledge insight would i like to take away what other experiences would i like to have you know what experiences do i not want to repeat right um, just a, a really lovely energy of understanding that. And sometimes this is also, you know, it's just, it's almost like a, the ending of some type of a chapter in your life that maybe you really have nothing, there's, there's not a reason for it to come. It's just the natural ending of a chapter in your life. So for instance, like, you know, like your children have all graduated from high school or college and they're going out to be adults in the world, understanding your chapter as perhaps like, you know, a parent that's really trying to mold your child, right? That part of being a parent is over. Not that you, you're going to lose touch with them, right? But it's about understanding. They're really kind of stepping into taking more initiative in their own life you have less control you know the it could be you're retiring you know understanding okay one one end uh one chapter in my life is ending and new one is starting it could even be for really really super happy reasons like you know you could be pregnant and understanding you're getting close to your ninth month <laughs> right you're about to have the baby kind of like sitting back resting relaxing you know kind of remembering kind of almost like a nostalgia of the single days <laughs> because once you get that baby you know life is going to change right um you know it's anything or the same thing moving from the single from the life of being a single person into being married anything when we're kind of like taking a big step a big leap from one chapter to the next just allowing ourselves to kind of reflect on what we have learned, what we have enjoyed, and what we do not want to repeat. All right, so let's go to the tarot. Let's take a look at um, your present energy, any areas of resistance or obstacles on your path, and then finally, advice um, about uh, from spirit about how you can overcome these obstacles and have the outcome that you are seeking in this yeah it's really uh, about stepping having the confidence to step out of your comfort zone um so let's see what we have here you know that's kind of interesting because the this confidence okay this is the leo card and leo season is about to start next week um confidence really comes from a sense of having education or in your case, it could be taking a look, reviewing a little bit about this chapter that is closing out um, and really garnering that, that information, that insight, that wisdom 
like, literally write it down on a piece of paper <laughs> because it, it's allowing you to regain your confidence about stepping into a new chapter. So let's say you're even changing jobs. Say you're staying in the same career, but you're changing jobs. What insight, what wisdom did you learn in the previous job that you would like to take as you move forward into your new job? And that doesn't mean just like the technical things that you may have learned, but also in relationships, you know, working with other people, working perhaps with a boss or being the boss to other people. What did you learn in those situations that are going to really help you as you move into a new chapter? Okay, so let's take a look. We have nine of wands coming out again. Okay, so this really has been kind of a long haul for you, you know, um, and don't settle for less. Understanding that you're moving into a chapter and one of the things that you want to reflect about is how perhaps you allowed others to take advantage of you or, you know, you gave too much to a situation because at this time, it is perhaps the one of the reasons why you are stepping into this new chapter or just recognizing maybe the chapter didn't end because you gave too much, but maybe some of your nine of ones energy, this energy, this has been really long, okay? <laughs> and at times difficult, right? The wounded warrior energy is not an easy energy, but understanding that part of this energy, because you have it really twice, um, Part of this energy is how, why, why do you have those feelings at this time? Where did you overgive? Where did you allow people to take advantage of you? Did you work super long hours and not get compensated for it? Where could you, um, where have you learned to build healthier boundaries, right? With yourself and with your connections. It's an energy of reflecting on that as you enter this new chapter of understanding that in this past time and, you know, we have that new, uh, I mean, the North Node moving into Aries on Monday. So the last 18 months, it's been in Taurus, really kind of like helping us to see where we may have, you know, tangible things. Where have we overgiven? Okay, tangible. It could be time. It could be money. It could even be your energy. Where have you overgiven in situations? Um, and now it's kind of like, okay, I've learned those lessons, really taking stock of that. Because you have trust in your divine purpose is your present energy. Ace of Wands, adjustments are needed, never ending story. Yeah, I feel like that is that Nine of Wands energy. That's like, oh my goodness, here we go again, right? <laughs> For those of you that have adult children, you know, this could be the adult child, you know, calling and saying over and over again, I can't make rent. And you're like, okay. And you give them more rent money, right? And you're, you're learning like every time, you know, that happens, maybe you're giving them a less money or something like that. And now I feel like you're getting to the point where it's like, yeah, no, that's, I, I've given you all I'm going to give. That's it. I, I've reflected on this. This is hindering my progress moving forward because I'm overgiving in a situation. It could be your boss is constantly asking you, right, <laughs> to work extra hours and promising a, a promotion or extra vacation or something, and it never happens. This is that energy of the never-ending stories where you are giving something, you are giving time, energy, money to something and not getting repaid in any way right? Or just maybe repaid a little bit, but it's not nearly balanced. This is understanding. There's an imbalance here. So it's about, okay, I, adjustments need to be made. I need to make some adjustments as I move forward in this next chapter. Understanding, okay. It's almost a little bit like drawing a line in the sand, right? And saying from this day forward, I've reflected on how I have shown up in my work or in my career or in my family or with my children, whatever it is. I've reflected, I've taken time to reflect. Why am I feeling so worn out? Now I understand this is why I feel so worn out. Worn out. And now I'm inspired because now I'm standing up for myself, right? If you think about it, nine plus one equals 10. 
And 10 of wands represents dropping the burdens, understanding I have to go in a new direction. I have to, it's not necessarily a new direction because you have adjustments, adjustments are required, right? I'm adjusting how I am moving forward. I'm adjusting my mindset. I'm adjusting my boundaries. I'm adjusting my boundaries with others and with myself. You know, <laughs> yeah, because sometimes, you know, that is, you know, you have the hierophant understanding that you have gained a lot of wisdom out of this. Wow. You know, it, Aquarius, you know, I, I feel there is a strong sense here that you have just overgiven in some situation. Yeah. And now you have the strength. Look at this. You have the fool card. You have the strength. Okay. Because what did you have? Step out of your comfort zone. Having the strength to understand that you're going after what it is that you truly want, but your fears have kept you back. You know, for some of you, you could have overgiven to this situation because by overgiving to the situation, you used up time, energy, money that prevented you from going after what your heart truly desires. You know, sometimes we allow, we get into that energy of allowing people to drain our time, energy, and resources. Because if we had the time, energy, and resources, then we wouldn't have an excuse to go after what our heart truly desires. Asking yourself, what does your heart truly desire and why are you not going after it? And for some of you, when you take that time to reflect, right, especially on the cusp of this North Node in Aries, you're going to be like, oh, well, it's because I give so much to my job that I don't have time to exercise or enjoy hobbies that I used to enjoy or perhaps start a side business right? It's understanding, oh, I give too much of my money to my adult children who are capable of paying their own way in life, right? And because of that, I don't have the resources to start the, the business I've always wanted to start or go on the vacation I've always wanted to have or buy the new car that I had been wanting for the last 10 years. You know, it's really kind of a little bit about getting really clear with yourself about where, where your time, energy, and money has been going and how that has impacted what you haven't been able to do because this is about having the courage to step onto this new path of saying, yeah, I, this is where I, I've got to go after my own happiness because I guarantee you the person or persons that have been draining you, this is vampire energy, right? Whoever has been draining you, they don't really care about your happiness. They may say they do. <laughs> your boss may say, oh, Aquarius, I really want you to have that vacation. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to hire somebody else, you know, but we're so, so shorthanded. You can't have a vacation. And you're like, what? Right? But, you, oh, Aquarius, you're so amazing. You know? Okay. I'm so amazing. Don't settle for less. <laughs> Show me the money. <laughs> Show me the money. Let me go on my vacation. Yes. This is a beautiful energy of you taking back your power and stepping into this energy of going after what you really want and not allowing yourself to be drained by others. Okay, so let's take a look at your area of resistance, your obstacle. <laughs> look at your, your area of resistance, your obstacle is milk and honey, which is the 10 of cups in tarot. Understanding, yeah, look at the bigger picture. Why do you not have what you really and truly want for yourself? When you sit there and daydream in your hammock, right? What is it that you really want, Aquarius? What does your heart truly desire? And then asking yourself, that pivotal question, okay? Why don't I have it? It's because you're you're having a hard time of letting go. It says the situation no longer serves you. Allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so that you can embrace the future. Yeah, this is understanding. You're at the end. You are at the end of a difficult time. But in order to step into the bright new world that's waiting for you, it is also about putting time and energy into those things. Look, it's like a butterfly, right? <laughs> it's also like a heart. If you, I turn it this way. I'm seeing a heart, right? 
putting time and energy into those things that bring you, you, your heart's desire. And it's not about uh, trying to help other people find their happiness. It's about you finding your true happiness and not settling for anything else, Aquarius. <laughs> I love that energy. Yeah, it's kind of like, yes, I'm not settling for anything else, you know? I want, you say to your boss, I want two weeks of vacation. I've been guaranteed this two weeks of vacation for some time. But you just keep telling me next month, next season, next year, whatever, right? Understanding, no, I want my two weeks vacation. I'm, this is when I'm taking my two weeks vacation. And for some of you, I know it's tough, but you may be saying, okay, and if your boss says no, then you start looking for another job. You may not be able to quit that job at that time. I get that. That's, you know, we have to live in the practical world. But you start looking for another job as, you know, if you are giving somebody or some situation in your life excuses and one chance after another, I feel, I feel like you're coming into this energy of seeing it clearly and understanding. Yeah, I, I've got to go, look. <laughs> and I think for some of you, you know that this is intuitively, intuitively, you know, you need more balance in your life. Yeah, it's time to step into a new world where you have balance. And intuitively, you know, this situation is kind of like, but I feel like you've also put a lot of time and energy into it. It's hard to walk away and have a fresh start somewhere else when you have put a lot of time and energy into something. Now, if this is kind of like a family situation or even a job situation, it, it, the fresh start does not mean that you have to stop <laughs> seeing those people or stop giving them any time or energy. It is about having those healthy boundaries, uh, drawing the line in the sand, understanding, no, this is, this is what I'm willing to give and this is what I'm not giving, bringing balance back into it. You know, if your boss is only giving you a little bit, it's about understanding, okay, I'm only giving a little bit in this situation. Meanwhile, I'm going to start working, putting time and energy into those things that bring me more pleasure, more play, that make my heart sing. What makes your heart sing, Aquarius? <laughs> That's where it's supposed to go. Yeah, it's almost over. You know, your current challenges will soon be resolved and you will be able to look to the future with a smile. Yeah, you're at the very end of this. I like to see that card, knowing that the end is near. Either you are going to end something, right? Or you know intuitively, I feel like some of you know intuitively, this, this can't go on, you know? One way or another, it's over. And I feel like you know that. It's once again reflecting. What have I learned out of this situation? What am I, what insight, wisdom, what silver linings am I taking with me as I move forward? Because you have a judgment card. Yeah, you, you have a crossroads coming up. This is your advice. And confidence is the key to your success. You are poised for this. This is really and truly on your path to go in a new direction. I feel like for some of you, you may actually be leaving a job or a career you may be even saying goodbye to some people or a relationship or you know just kind of like removing your time and energy from something sometimes you know we don't have to necessarily say goodbye to somebody you know um, all we do is we pull back our time and energy we just keep pulling it back you know it doesn't mean you have to like have an abrupt stop you just know that it is, I feel like for some of you, you intuitively know this situation is probably going to dis disappear. Once you start pulling back your energy and this person isn't getting what they have been getting out of you, right? You understand that relationship is going to kind of fizzle out, you know, especially if it's like a friend relationship and you just feel like you're always giving to this situation, but not getting a lot back out of it. There's still wisdom to be gained in that, right? Of understanding. Yeah, next time I'm not I'm not going to get myself into that position. Hmm. Yeah. I think you're fearful of the end. 
you know, you have the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Swords, your doubts. How is this... Uh, how is this ending going to affect you as you move forward? I think there's a lot of kind of like, yeah, my heart is kind of breaking. Um, it's, it's understanding. I feel there's part of you that has given so much to the situation, Aquarius. Um, I'm really sending you lots of love and hugs. I think you've given so much to this situation. I think you're really disappointed. You know, the Ten of Swords is not an easy energy. There's almost this uh, like feeling of, can it come back around? Can it work out? That type of thing. But you intuitively know it can't. Just because you put a lot of time and energy in it doesn't mean that you should stay. Not if it's not bringing you happiness and joy. Because you have that card. Um, it, don't settle for less. I think you realize you've been settling for less than what you truly deserve for a long time in this situation. And it's time. It's a crossroads decision. How do I move forward? Do I take back all of my time and energy and resources? Do I quit this relationship, job, career, situation? Or do I just pull back my energy, but also allowing myself to go towards what it is that I truly want? I think you're sad that this didn't work out you know there is that sense of sadness and yet at the same time you know there is you know even like you know let's go back to your children have all left the nest there is that bit of sadness you know i can say this because i have three adult children right there's sadness when everybody's left the house you know you're kind of excited because it's a new chapter of your life but you're also kind of sad because something has ended you've known that at one point you were hoping that at one point your children would be able to leave the nest and be self-sufficient out in the world right it's every parent's hope and dream but at the same time it doesn't mean that you know it, it's easy it's not necessarily easy. But I feel like this is a situation that's even deeper than that because there's a sense of, I wish it had worked out a different way, right? So your child could be leaving to be out on their own, right? And yet at the same time, they're taking a job across country. You're not going to see them, but maybe twice a year. You know, you know, or they're taking a job in a career that you're concerned about. Will they be self-sufficient? Can they do that, right? There's a, a sense of your concern, perhaps, that they're settling for less, right? Or this situation is, is not what you were wanting at this time. But also understanding, okay, radically accepting where the situation is and then asking yourself, what do I truly desire? Because you have the Ten of Cups twice, right? What does your heart truly desire? What direction are you going in? Because you are opening up a new chapter. So it's about dreaming, right? It's about reflecting on what you have learned in the past chapter and really dreaming, getting into that dreamy state of what it is that you want as you move forward. Because I feel like you really do have a beautiful... Um, new chapter waiting for you something that is going to be really with the judgment card it's also about becoming more aligned with your purpose with your life purpose perhaps even changing careers allowing your career to better be in, in better alignment with your life purpose your your heart's desire your soul's calling okay so let's pull a soul truth card for you aquarius to finish this out and um I do do personal readings, so if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. What else could this mean? This is a good card. There are always multiple ways to look at every situation. Our first reaction is usually rooted in our fears and limiting beliefs. Look at a situation today by stepping outside of the trigger and ask, what else could this mean? Is there something your soul is calling you to learn in this moment? Or is there a pattern that is ready to be broken? That's that reflection, right? 
It's about reflecting about, is there a pattern here? What, uh, what of this experience do I not want to repeat? <laughs> what other experiences would I like to bring into my life? Right? Walk, into, walk in the other person's shoes and see it from their perspective. If it doesn't involve someone else, ask yourself, how is life happening for me right now? Yeah, and I'm going to come back to that 10 of swords because I do feel like there is a definite energy here of this hasn't worked out the way that you want it. But let's go back even to your boss, okay, who won't allow you to have the two weeks of vacation that you have been promised, right? It's understanding, okay? It's taking a look at it from your boss's perspective, walking in your boss's shoes. Perhaps your boss really has been trying to hire somebody and has been having difficulty. Or perhaps your boss can't really afford to hire somebody else. But it doesn't mean that you have to settle for less. But I do feel like just taking a few moments to walk in somebody else's shoes will help you to have better perspective of the situation and perhaps be able to move forward with a more positive energy, right? Of not feeling like, yeah, well, they wouldn't let me have a two weeks vacation, so I was out, you know? allowing yourself to say you know there were some other things that were going on i wasn't really happy i wasn't feeling fulfilled i may be blaming it on the fact that my boss wouldn't let me have two weeks of vacation even though it was promised to me the real truth is is that i'm not feeling like this is in alignment with what my heart truly desires it's not in alignment with my life purpose i was ready for a change anyway perhaps using this as an excuse, but being really clear with yourself about why you're making a change. Wow. And don't settle for less. <laughs> do not settle for less. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it there. I really do appreciate all of your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. I'll have those North Node in Aries videos up this week. I hope you'll check them out. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.